Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. This is where you're learning everything that you need to know about how to be a pharmacy technician. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. And if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and make sure that you are sharing my videos. You never know who you can help out whenever you share my videos. As you can see, I am driving today, so I'm sure you saw the title of my video, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly of Pharmacy. Actually, let me tell you who suggested that I make this video. Uh, B Loves Life suggested this video. So I was like, okay, I could do this. Um, I didn't take any notes, so this is all just gonna be randomly off the top of my head. So, I'm actually out just running errands today. As you all know, I, I make my pharmacy videos on Mondays. I, I'm going to try to post faithfully on every Monday at 9 o'clock in the morning. And then just through the week, I'll just randomly do a vlog or just whatever I'm doing, whether it's makeup or just whatever I'm doing. Um, so today, as you, you guys know that I normally have a to-do list of things that I have to do. So I got to go buy a filter for my uh, air conditioning. Um, just random things for the house. Um, I have to. Um, oh, uh, yesterday uh, Monday was my last day of teaching, so I have, uh, I think, a month off, and then we'll, you know, we'll all have to go back to teaching. And so I have to go drop this information off to my director. Uh, so I have to get that done today. That's actually where I'm headed to now, and then I'm gonna go get my nails done, and I have to make a couple phone calls. I still haven't called my insurance company about the fender bender in my house. So I gotta do that too. So just ride with me and let's enjoy the day. So I'll see you guys in just a few and we'll get into the video a little bit more. Bye. Okay, I am just pulling into the school. Oh yeah. And I have to get my temperature taken before I go in and a wristband even though I really just need to drop this paperwork off um, at the door but i'm glad i brought my mask so let's see what's gonna happen hopefully my temperature will be fine hello uh, yeah. hello hello no no sir we're good huh um uh admissions mm -hmm. thank you okay thank you yes ma'am okay so they gave me this little thingy to put on my wrist this little paper band to put on my wrist even though I just really need to drop this off at the, but it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, I can I not park up here? Is there no parking right here? Visitor parking. I'm a visitor today, so I'm gonna pull in here, and then we're gonna talk about the good, um, because there are good benefits to being a pharmacy technician. Um, so let me just park real quick, and I'm gonna make sure that um the next few recordings are um while i'm sitting still while i'm parked because if the i looked at the first part of the video and it was a little a little bumpy ride but let's talk about the good okay okay what i would say as far as good things as being a pharmacy technician is you actually have a career and you can build off of that career okay um as i've told you guys you know after you become a pharmacy a certified pharmacy technician you can become a chemotherapy pharmacy technician iv certified pharmacy technician compounding pharmacy technician and also a nuclear med pharmacy technician and there's more there's more certifications i think there's five more which i'm going to make a video on that i'm going to make a video about each single individual one um and i'm going to do research on that i'm actually going to call ptcb probably today or, or a couple days um that way i can get detailed information over each one or i can possibly go to the website and read a little bit but sometimes i kind of like to get a little bit of verbal information as well but that's one thing you'll actually have a career and you can tell people that you have a career so that's that's a plus um number two will be the pay a lot of people say that you don't get paid a, you know a lot of course you're not going to get paid 
$30 an hour to be a pharmacy technician because you have not went to college, okay? You have not spent two to two to six years in college. So why would someone pay you $30 an hour um, to be a pharmacy technician when you have not went to college, okay? This is still a job, okay? This is still a career that you don't have to go to college for. Um, someone in the comments asked yesterday, how do I obtain my 500 hours? And I did let them know the way that you obtain your 500 hours if you're going to be a pharmacy technician, depend it everything always depends on what state you live in. If you live in a state where you have to take your, you know, your PTCB exam, then you're going to have to get your trainee license. In order to do that, whatever state you live in, you type in that state, say the state is Texas. You type in Texas State Board of Pharmacy, and you find in, in that area or in, on that page where it says trainee license. You obtain your trainee license, You depending on the state, I'm not sure how, what every state is like, but for Texas, you can have your trainee license for two years, and you can work in the pharmacy, okay? So you, you you go to work in that pharmacy and you obtain those 500 hours during that time of obtaining those 500 hours you need to be studying to take your ptcb exam and that's how you obtain those 500 hours once you have accumulated those 500 hours then you will be able to okay to take your ptcb exam that's if you don't want to go to school for it okay now if you do want to go to school you know you go to school all that and you know you you automatically can be able to take your ptcb exam um, okay, so that's that on the 500 hours. Um, another back to the pay, back to the pay. I have taken care of me and my daughter over the course of whew, seven, 17 years, seven, well, excuse me, 12, 12 years from being a pharmacy technician, but before that, I was a team leader somewhere. Um, but so over the course of 12 years, I've taken care of me and my daughter financially, and we have lived well off of me being a pharmacy technician at one point i even took a two dollar pay decrease because i needed a job that was an eight to five because i had to raise a child um uh, just to get off subject because i've been watching quite a few things protect your children okay you may think that you're protecting your children from certain people that live inside your home but sit your children down and ask them you know is, is this going on is that going on you know talk to your kids there are a lot of things happening to children that we are unaware of and you need to open your eyes and be aware of that and ask your children the uncomfortable questions that you may not want to ask ask them that anywho okay so i would say another benefit to being a pharmacy technician is to me it's it's nice to say that I'm a pharmacy technician. Um, you know, to to say that you know I've I've accomplished something. I've 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 studied and I've worked hard because my lord, I worked really hard to be a pharmacy technician. I don't I can't remember if I told you guys this or not. When I was studying to be, become a pharmacy technician, and I don't see how people pass their PTCB exam saying that they studied for three days. But I do have a coworker. Um, which he just kind of said he skimmed through the book and he passed his test. There are some people that are, are that smart and there are, that are, there are some people that, that can't gravitate to it that well. And I was one of those people. I had to read through that book several times. And my boss, I can't remember his name. He was a um, an assistant manager at Walgreens. I can't remember his name. And he was like, Arnika, he said, study um, the, the, um, the, the exam in the back. So that's what I did. And I felt like once I went through that, you know, everything became a lot clearer for me. But it's just nice to have those bragging rights. I hate to say that, but it's true. It's nice to say that, you know, I have something attached to my name. I'm a certified pharmacy technician and I worked hard to achieve that. And I'm, and I'm continuously working hard to, to, to keep that. You know, every two years you have to get your, your continued education hours, your CEs. And I made a video on that, okay? If you need to look down through my videos, it's continued education hours and you're going to need those every two years don't forget and don't wait to get that um another thing um is just knowing that i have something that that has that has just been a a, a provider for me it has it has just provided financial gain in my life and and you can you, you can become a teacher you can become um uh, a, a teacher doing this and it pays really well i can't quit my teaching job because i want to be able to live comfortable and me being a pharmacy technician at the hospital 
and teaching and doing YouTube and having my own business on the side as far as having you guys sign up for the program just just use your imagination on what on how you can build on your career use your imagination and go from there that's exactly what I did and it has been really rewarding and it has been plentiful it has been very plentiful for me and those are the goods I'm about to head into the school drop this off to uh my uh, director, I hate that I have to put my mask on my makeup. Oh, I used some new Maybelline Valuable. I think it was, I think it was a concealer, but I just used it up in this area to contour my makeup. I know y'all are like, I don't want to hear nothing about no makeup, but um, yeah, and I I just love my makeup. But anywho, I'm about to go inside, um, and I, I if I can think of some more good things, I will, but. It's a, it's a great career move. Uh, don't let anyone mess it up for you. Um, it, it does pay well, but you know, if, if with every job, you know, you have, you have to, to, to build some experience. Okay. And the, and the more that you kind of move from different jobs, the more money you'll actually make, because say for instance, you're at a job that's going to start you out with 1175. Okay, cool. You starting out with 1175. The next year you may get a quarter 50 cent raise. Okay. We'll say now that you're at it may possibly 1225. Okay. So, so you like where I am, we haven't had a raise in three years. And the reason why I stay is because my, my boss is, is very flexible, you know, with my schedule. She knows that I teach. She knows that I have other things going on in my life and and that makes it that makes it all the better for me okay um but i'm not telling you to stay at a job that's not going to give you a raise in three years i'm definitely not telling you that okay because that's not what i want you to do but if you're happy where you are then stay where you are but if you are not happy with your pay start applying at different jobs and the more you apply at different jobs just kind of see what your worth is and if you say okay i'm making 1275 or 1225 here um and they're talking about paying me 1475 or whatever if the pay may be move around move around okay once you're at that 14 whatever whatever and you see that this job wants, wants to pay you 17 dollars and some and some whatever change move around because that's what a job is about it's all about money okay it's all about taking care of your f family and being financially stable it's not about having friends it's not about gaining friends it's not about you know whether or not you like the job or not even though i do like my job um it's it's about it's about paying your bills <laughs> and taking care of your and taking care of your family that's what it's all about as far as with a job that's why it's called a job okay um all right i'm about to go into school hopefully they'll let me in this place and i'll see you guys in a little bit bye okay so somebody's checking me out in the next vehicle but anywho you know ain't nobody got time for that okay so um i'm about to go get my nails done and everything and and that's pretty much it get my nails done get my nails refilled actually this is just an acrylic overlay because i can't wear nails in the iv room so i just like to get an acrylic overlay because my nails are so weak and they're so ooh, they're just my nails are tragic they're tragic anywho so let's talk about the bad and then we're going to go to walmart and um when i get to walmart we'll talk about the ugly so the worst thing or the bad thing that i would say about being a pharmacy technician is when people ask you when people ask you to steal medication for them okay it's great being a pharmacy technician but the the downside is that okay now people know that you have access to drugs and they think they they somehow think in their mind that you are willing to jeopardize not paying your bills your freedom uh your uh your uh your your uh background history uh, uh feeding your family excuse me they think that you are really going to risk that for them are you kidding me and usually sometimes these people aren't even your family members sometimes they'll just be random people that you know so let me tell you about the incident that happened to me last week <clears throat> So I inboxed this guy because I saw that him and his family was doing so wonderful. And whenever I see that people are prospering or whenever I see 
smart people, I try to emulate that because that's a smart thing to do, right? Okay, so I inbox him. Hey, you know, what kind of work do you do? You know, I'm curious. I see you and your family doing great, blah, blah, blah. He was like, you know, I'm a, I'm a truck driver, okay? So he probably doesn't watch my videos, but if he does, I really don't give a flying flip. So he said, I'm a truck driver. I'm not, well, I don't want to be no daggum truck driver. So I just said, okay. So, um, so I, so then I don't know if he asked me, what did I do? But I feel like everyone knows exactly what I do. So he was asking me about some hydrocodone, hydrocodone. And I was like, I don't do that. You know, you know, I don't steal people medication or whatever. Are you, are you serious right now? I said, you know, but I just left it at that. I said, I don't do that. Sorry. And I just left it at that. And I'm just like, so now, so now I don't even really want to be affiliated with that person anymore. I mean, I mean, you know, we just talk on 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 Facebook, you know, sh you know, talk through each other's posts and this and that and the other. But now I just feel like I don't, I don't even want to do, you know, I don't even want to have, I don't even want to comment on your posts. I don't even want to really want to affiliate myself with you anymore. So that's a downside to be a being a pharmacy technician. That's one of the bad things because people feel like, oh well. She, this he or she has access to medications now i could just go to this person oh no 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 and no and no again no you cannot sweetheart i am not going to catch a felony charge for you or any type of charge for you or or disrupt my entire existence for you like who do you think you are okay um let me try, try to think of another bad um okay another bad is that how people how people will will okay think that okay he or she works in the hospital they they got to be making like i was telling you in the, in the previous clip they got to be making like 30 35 dollars an hour blah 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 no so your family feel like you know they can come ask you for money they can come ask you for this that this and that no 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 that is not the case we are not making 30 to 35 dollars an hour that's not what we're doing okay so please stop thinking that we're making racks on racks on racks that's not the case we're not making bands on bands on bands we're not well we're making bands but we're not making <laughs> we're not making 30 a dollar 30 dollars an hour bands we're not making those type of bands that is not the situation so you know if you see this video and then you know you you have a family member that's a pharmacy technician stop stop thinking that they have all this money because they work inside of a pharmacy or they work inside of a hospital we're here to take care of our family just like you as well okay 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 so um another bad thing i would say there's really there's really not a lot of downsides to pharmacy um now, when I get into the ugly, you know, you may be like, Ooh, yeah. you know, you're, you're, you know, may, you may feel a certain way. So I'm, I'm, which I'm going to try to keep it light in the ugly. I've just been kind of thinking of things to say. Um, but I don't see a lot of down, a lot of bad things to pharmacy. Um, not that, not that I can just randomly think off the top of my head, you know, well, I could, I could say customer, <laughs> you know, your, your customer, um, interaction or your your interaction with the public is is kind of bad and i made a video about that mad customers i think that's what i labeled it so if you want to watch that video feel feel more than welcome feel free because you know you have millions of personalities out here in the world and everyone's personality it's not going to be smiles and peaches and cream and strawberries and ice cream, okay? You may get a little rocky road. You know, you may get a little rocks in there. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's personality is not going to be pleasant and joyful to be around, you know? So you will get mad, mad, angry customers. That is, I will say that is that is a bad, you know, a downside of being a pharmacy technician um, is dealing with mad and angry, irate customers, um, you know, then you have your, your, um, possibly your insurance insurance was never a big deal to me. You know, either the claim was processed or either it wasn't, but then when, when, when it didn't go through, then you have to go back to that mad, angry, irate customer and let them know, Hey, you know, this, your, this is not covered by your insurance and well, why not? You know, and then you have to go through the whole spill, you know, it's, it's not on the formulary list. Uh, we can try to contact your doctor to find out what is comparable on the formulary list or, or that, or that customer or that patient or that, um, that customer, like I said, can, can contact their doctor and try to find that out. But that's another, that's another downside of a uh, pharmacy. Um, I don't know if this is considered bad to you, but you do have to pay a fee every two years. And, um, 
to 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 stay reinstated. I guess that's the word I can use to stay reinstated every two years. I re I can't remember exactly how much it is because it's every two years. I can't I can't remember that. I don't know if it's forty dollars or if it's eighty dollars. It's one of the two. But you do have to pay money every two years in order to keep your certification. Also, you have to pay money um, in order to work in the state that you're in. I think that's every two years. Well, for me, it's every two years. It's different in every state, okay? So I can't just specifically, you know, say for every state that it's going to be this one way. So I can't say that. Um, so you will have to come out of money, you know, every two years. So maybe that's bad for some people. Um, you do have to do continued education hours. Maybe that's bad for some people. <coughs> A lot of people don't want to do that and a lot of people wait until the last minute to do that So maybe some people see that as a as a con, you know as a as something that's that's not that something that they want to do as something bad uh, But that's actually the only real things that I can think of that's that's bad as far as being a pharmacy technician So I'm gonna go get my nails done and get my feet done And I may take you guys in there with me um, if they don't take too long, sometimes they have a lot of people, but I'm off work today and I'm almost done with my list of things to do. All I really have to do now is call State Farm, get my nails and feet done and go to Walmart. And that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm going to try to, oh gosh, I got to go to the grocery store. I almost forgot about that. Um, because I need to go get some healthy food. We're having Olive Garden tomorrow at my job. So I'm hoping that it's not a lot of pasta because I'm trying to stay away from, from bad carbs, which is really hard. You know, I looked up a list of, but you guys don't want to hear that. Anyway, so I'm going to, I'm going to go in here. I've had something on my shoulder. I, I feel like it's, um, I can't even think of what it's called when you have like a patch of dry skin, but I have some steroid cream at home, like some prescription med steroid cream. It's just, I forget to, I forget to put it on there, you know, living every day, going, 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 especially when, when, you know, teaching at the school, that was a lot. Um, so now that I'm not teaching, hopefully I can make more YouTube videos daily, um, which I, I wish I could make them daily. Uh, that would be amazing if I could do that. So I'm going to run in here and get my nails done. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay. Um, I am at Walmart, which I really don't feel like uh, shopping here because it is packed. It is really, really busy. So I'm just going to grab the three things that I need from here. And then I've, I'm actually going to go to Super One and do my grocery shopping. Because I don't know. I just like it over there. And I'll probably go to uh, Ulta. I don't know, just to look around and see uh, what Juvia's place has new. Maybe I can get a, uh, I, I really need an eye palette. Oh, and anyway, let's get into the ugly, okay? So, uh, okay. Uh, like, okay, the other day, I saw where a young lady, okay? This is, this is her own YouTube channel, you know? And I always like to look up other YouTubers that, um, that uh, have have youtube channels about pharmacy technicians you know i like to see what they say get you know kind of you know just kind of do a little research so it bothered me that she said that she, i guess i don't know if she was working in a different department or what was going on but she said she started working in the pharmacy and she said that the pharmacist told her not to become certified excuse me and that she would not get, receive a pay raise even if she did become certified all of that and she, and she and she even said i don't i don't understand why they would do why they would say that but i do <laughs> i know why they would say that but i'm not going to say why i know they would say that okay because i don't want to bring that type of negative energy to my channel so i'm i'm not going to say why but that is so dead wrong i will say that it was wrong for that that pharmacist to tell her that because it was a lie you know if, if you become certified of course you're going to get a raise okay i mean why would you not you know that's that's just absolutely ridiculous and i i can't i can't necessarily pinpoint exactly why that pharmacist said that but i can only assume because uh, yeah, I can only assume. Okay, anywho. Um, so I just wanted to tell you about that. Okay, uh, 
looking through my comments, I saw one comment and the person was so distraught as to how they were treated in the pharmacy. And that's what we need to stop. So I'm going to, I'm going to speak on the pharmacist first. Okay. Okay. I don't understand why pharmacists hire pharmacy technicians just to treat them like crap. I've seen that so many, I've been doing this for 12 years and I have seen that so many times and I don't understand it. You know, why do you hire us just to bring us in to torture us? <laughs> I Make it make sense because cause I don't understand. You know, I've, I've been in that hot seat before. Let me check my phone because my daughter is trying to swindle me out of 20 bucks. But oh no no sis, you got you have a full time job, okay? All right. Anywho, I don't understand why you hire us and then bring us into this environment and treat us like poop. You know, I don't understand that. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Okay, that's that's one. Pharmacists treating treating us like like we're nothing, like we're pun scum. I don't understand that. Okay, so so put right 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 your situation um in the comments like what what you've experienced as far as something really really bad because i'm sure there are a lot of technicians that have that have just gone through heck and back okay and i'm one i'm one i've experienced some things as a pharmacy technician that sh that i should not have experienced but that's just that's just that's just people and their i'm just gonna say it and their stupidity that's just what that is and i don't i don't get that you know, okay, number two, how your coworkers will treat you. I've discussed this over and over and over and over, and I have seen it numerous times. I've seen people walk out, take their um, certification off the wall, doses them out this thing, and leave. And I'm just like, man, you know, these are good people that are walking out. And I, I'm some, some. I, I used to be so disappointed. Like, my God, you know, you don't see that you're running your own people off. You don't see this, you know. I, I just didn't understand it. And these were good workers. They had so much great potential. And for you know your boss or your team lead or whomever or your or your coworker not to see that, it's 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 hurtful. It's really hurtful. And I, I was, I was telling a, a coworker the other day, you know, you know, she's, she's so much younger than I am. And I told her that being a good person, really, I feel like has gotten me nowhere in life. It has gotten me nowhere. And, and it's so sad to say that because you try and you try and you try to really, really, and honestly be a good person, but no one respects that. No one respects you're trying to be a good person. No one respects your, your morals and values. That's why they're going out the window. That's why they're leaving. Because cause no one respects it. So why have it when no one is, is, is showing, okay, that this person is a good person. This person is working hard. This person is putting a good foot forward. No. No one gives a flying flip about that anymore. And I don't know why. It's just society. Good is Good is bad. And bad is good. It's just what it is. Okay, so we have the pharmacist treating the technicians bad. We have sometimes your coworkers, your team lead, you know, treating the coworkers bad. Don't understand that. Okay. Uh, then, then the the pay for you. Okay. Uh, which 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 we discussed that in, in the bad. That's that's not the ugly. That's not the ugly. Um, that's that's really the majority of the ugly is how is how we as as supposed to be a team how we treat each other you know and i've look in one of my videos i've you know i've i've i've, ta I've talked about this it starts from within with within it really does it starts from within and i'll give you some scenarios which i gave you a scenario of mine in a previous video i think that that was when i went shopping for my students and maybe you didn't even make it to the end of that video okay so um i've experienced some things in my day um but first let me talk about this okay which i really and truly don't want to talk about it but it has been addressed so much to me 
to the point where it's getting hot in this thing on car to the point of where if I feel like if I don't talk about it I feel like I'll be kind of not addressing the elephant in the room if I don't talk about it so I feel like I have to talk about it okay oh you know with everything that's going on you know with the hopefully the way the world is changing lord i pray uh you know of course we know that america is like uh has 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 um i'm trying to think what I, has has a black blanket over it okay it has is it has it has a dark cloud i hate to say a black blanket it has a dark cloud over this country and un until we fix it it's never going to be right in this country we're always going to be at war with each other which is really really sad and, and i and i hate that but that's just that's what it is because it was it was built it was it was it was it was built on the backs of another group of people so until we until we fix that until they fix that it's this country is never going to be united that's why i don't see why it's called the united states when we're so divided it should be called the divided states you know we're, we're divided as a people as a as a people that that includes everyone oh anyway who did it eat? okay so to me because i'm an african-american woman it has been very difficult uh for me being an african-american an, an Amer african-american woman being in this field because my skin color has been a problem it's been a problem yeah and i've been doing this for 12 years and i've only seen two black women so far um be not even successful but just have peace on her job and and i've been doing this 12 years and i've only seen two african-american women actually have peace on her job and um there's there's so much i want to say but i don't want to offend anyone or anything like that but just know it is very it is very difficult for especially if she's the only black woman um at her job that 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 is heavy that is that is a that is very heavy okay um, cause it has, it has, it has weighed very heavy on me sometimes to be the only black woman at my job or, or, you know, just, you know, my, my jobs in general, because I'm just like, there's no one here that relates to anything that I'm talking about. Um, and it just, you know, you're, you're definitely not going to get promoted because no one understands you and they think that you're just this evil, evil, uh, uh, curly haired, extension wearing, braids wearing person. And you know you know your boss may go around and, and ask the group about you but there's no one in the group that looks like you so why would they vouch for you you know what i'm saying so i don't want to go into detail about it and i'm trying i'm trying not to but i just i i, I just want you to be aware of what's really going on because th this is what's happening you know i have so many african-american black women uh, that are pharmacy technicians that don't make it in this field because of the uncomfortability of being the only black woman or just or just that feeling <laughs> say for instance you're the only black woman okay and then they hire another black woman someone now has to be the token oh, God. you know someone now has to be the token and and it, and I have seen it over and over and over and over and over and over i have seen that so many times over and over and over and it's sad but that's the reality of it um now i'm not saying this just happens you know to african-american women you know everybody gets the business in pharmacy just like i just spoke of previously but it just seems so much harsher on us you know we we know you know we have been st stigmatized we know because we watch it and we feel it you know we feel it inside i i definitely do i feel it inside 
um, and it has been very hurtful through the years. But what what can I do about it? You know, I gotta I gotta pay my bills. So I have to put on this big big smile and and just and move on and move about my day. That's that's all I can do. Um, okay, let me. This sounds like an alarm is going off. Okay, that's my neighbor. Let me put him on speakerphone. I don't know. He may say something weird. Hello, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. I'm at Walmart finna grab some things. Um, okay. are you ready? Well, uh, by the time you get to our wheel, I'm finna jump in the shower. Okay, I'm gonna just grab a few things and I'm gonna I'm gonna come get you and then I'm gonna go to Super One and do some grocery shopping. Okay. Okay. Right, then, yeah, they just called you. Okay, sounds good. Okay, then be careful. Is it still raining? No, no, it's not raining. Mm -mm, it's just real cloudy. Okay, then. All right, be careful. Okay, bye bye. All right, All right gotta do my a, a favor for my neighbor because he's always doing favors for me. Whew, that's what I love about my community. Everybody around me is retired. I'm the only female, I'm the only person that's working, and they just help me, help me, help me, help me. Okay, well, I'm gonna end on that note. I know you know you probably wanted to hear a little bit more about it. Um, but maybe it'll just come up in random conversation as I'm speaking. But lighten up on your black ladies, on your African-American women. Lighten up on us because we already have the weight of the world on our shoulders. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.